We're off on a trip to Brighton now to find out all about the Empire, to find out about what Dave and Steve have been up to for the last 10 years. Do you want to come with me? We're off on that trip. Okay, see you in Brighton. Hello, I've arrived in Brighton. Uh, it's a very wet day, but we've driven down. Uh, did about an hour and uh, 20 minutes, so average speed 63 miles an hour. And we're in Steve's house on Church Road, the one he's done up. Um, do you want to come and have a look at it with me? Yeah, okay. Big hall area here, and then we go through to. Uh, well, I don't know what the, I don't know what it's been designated yet, but one of the rooms. Who have we got in here? Then we've got Elizabeth, and we've got Georgia. Hello, Georgia. Do you want to introduce yourself to our viewers? Who are you? Georgia Hardwick. And how old are you? Eleven. And uh, what have you been doing at Christmas? We had a party. We had a party. Was it good? Yeah. You stay especially late for the millennium. Yeah. And what what do you think will happen in the new millennium? Anything? Right. All right, George, there we heard it from you. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go on a little trip through all the properties. George, do you want to say a word? No, because you're a child. There we are. We're parked in the underground car park in our space number PE10, P0, looks like. P9. P9, there we are. Parked in. Well, you've got great space. You can there's, swing there's around. There's two ways of getting in. One is round there, which I have to suss get. The other one. Now, let's see who lives here. Number nine, Chance of Court. It's an investment property made by the Empire. Let's see if we've done the right thing. Oh, Come on. And it's been carpeted. Shoes off. Well, there's yeah. not a lot we're going to do about that. My shoes are coming off. We're, these carpets got to last 25, maybe 50 years. Here we are through the door. Let's see if it matches. Oh, we, oh look at this. We've got the video entry phone. You can see if very unpleasant people are arriving. Yes, there, look. Oh, nobody's there at the moment. Ooh, George. Yeah. Ooh, let's go in here. What room is this? This looks like a bedroom. We give this is the master bedroom, in there fact. There we are, and we've got the ensuite. Um, and the shower ensuite. Oh, let's have a look in there, viewers. Turn that off. And how much would you pay? Oh, yeah. I've filled out under that side of A4. Yeah, so shelves in there. Yeah. Just little things, like mm. if you look. Look at yeah, the view right, out there. If you look at this. Right. Good view of the car park. Yeah. Where that green really is, yeah. that's going to be, be a landscape square with a fountain. Paid £105 for this viewer and it's now worth £128. They can give us a spare door. No, well, it's just because that was... But you couldn't, are you supposed to be used in this room as well? All right. Oh, the whole oh, length? The double, no, it's not, it's only half of it. Yeah, Double yeah. balcony. Yes, I see that. If you look on the plans, it looks phenomenal, but I'm yeah. thinking you've got really close sloping ceilings. Might be nice to have a little look at one of those. Um, but I think come a bubble bursting in the property, this is the kind of property that bursts, doesn't it? No. You don't think so? Uh, not, not, is that not locked anymore? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we are. Good. Hello, viewer. Now we're in the back of the car, we're at Lorna Road. Let's go and have a look at it. Now we're at Lorna Road. Scummy tenants have gone. House has been done up. No expense has been spared. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Um, I think I no, you can drive them on this. No, no. There we are. We're going through the door, the front door now. I never saw it before. Oh, didn't you? No. Oh, well, the hellhole. Now let's have a look in here. What we have to them. avoid is rubbing the walls, Jude. We shut the door the properly. Original fireplace is no, that one was brought from downstairs. That was. Wow. This is a house. You must Good neutral colour. Watch your coats on the wall, because I've done it with matte. Here we are. Fully patio garden. And where did this fireplace come from then? That one was here. That was here? It's been done up. Mm -hmm. um, Ceiling roses there, and windows. No, I'll have to put that one in. Yeah, and... Uh, Still the door handles and stuff, but all the doors are being wow. very nice and polished. There's not, is there another part of the garden? No, no. that's, um, that's well, there. There's a little gate then, there. But yeah. The bottom plant and all the rest you can do. Well, that's it, the board is. You can yeah. really make... Um, you can do along with this, Jeff. Nice big kitchen here. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I have to put a Come with me, viewer. We're going upstairs. Doors. Oh, Steve's doing a good job, though. When, uh, if you walk up the stairs, if that's shut... You know, that's Hang on, we'll do that. Oh, the doors are rigid. Yeah. You've spent a lot of time... I mean, that's come up lovely. Fine. The toilet through there. Honestly, this is, you wouldn't have come in this house if you'd have seen it with the tenants in. People would. I'll lead on. Right, come on, let's follow him, viewers. Let's see what's up here. 
And Steve, do you want to show our viewers how much you spent here? Dead. 42,000. No! Yes. I heard it was going to be 30,000. It's 42 and a half. I've still got a couple of bills to pay. Good job I don't tell Morris to have a heart attack. <laughs> Yes, okay, nice well, fireplace. Yeah, nice yeah, room. The fireplace is original. Bedroom. I can't in this house. Oh, oh, the heating's not on, George. Is he not original order? Yeah. Wow. Can't believe Again, it. Again, I think it comes Half across another story. the shine off these doors. Yeah, these doors are very impressive. It's funny how those little... Uh, you know, final features kind of make the house in a yeah, way. Well, that's what we uh, appeal oh to. My God, it's okay. Now, this is a lot bigger, this bedroom, because we didn't nick it. No. Sure. sure. I'm up Dad. here. <laughs> wow, let's have a look. This is. I think this is Vieste Resistance. So what room would this would be the children's room? Almost, well, whatever room you want it to be. No, I'll tell you, we'd have our snoop. I oh, know. Here we are at Ditchling Rise. Let's go through those gates and see where they lead. This is a development opportunity for the Empire. Could make us or break us. Hope it make, let's hope it makes us. Think of Steve's house. There's a big long tunnel down there. We're going to walk down it, viewer. And let's see what's at the end of it. Come with me. Come on. Come with me. Here we are. They're trying to get in. The lock's out of the way, please. I'm filming a documentary. Here we go. We're going right through now. Come on. We're Come in. on, viewers. We're in. Oh, what's in here? What kind of place is it? Yeah. Wow. There isn't any light. This is a big flat. Wow. <laughs> There's lights here, Steve. Look. I've got lights on this baby. Sam, we're making a video about Steve's empire activities. What do you think about them? <laughs> Go away. Are they a bit of a distraction to you? Zip it. <laughs> do you think you'll make his fortune through it? So effectively that will be mezzanine floor over. Yeah. Yeah. Olivia, what, really um, could you introduce yourself to our viewers? Orders, be, uh, what? Can you tell us? Can you tell the viewers who you are? If you're on Channel Four now, if you're on Sky TV, tell the viewers something. We're on Sky One. Yes, and what's We're your name? We're on Sky Two. And what's your name? Uh, Olivia Hardwick. And how old are you? Roy Evans. Six. And your name, sir? Roy Evans. <laughs> and how old are you? Ninety-six. And what do you want to be when you grow up? Footballer. Right. <laughs> Olivia, what do you want to be when you grow up? He wants to be a uh, shop lady. <laughs> shop lady? And who would come in that shop? <laughs> Here we are. And George, we, we've already been introduced to our viewers, but I wonder what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I don't actually know yet. That's a very intelligent answer. Like Give us a bit about you, you know, this, this project. To, to tell us a bit about it. Well, it's a difficult one to start. Where do I start? Well, tell us how you found it. Phone call. From? Richard, would you be interested in an old church hall? He said, yes, depends on the location. So we couldn't get a worse location. Right. Under the viaduct, hidden underneath a three-storey house. Difficult to get to, no park. Yeah. But aren't you your best when you're back against the wall? We'll take it. Yeah. And, what, and we see what it is today, but what do you want to turn it into? Do you want to tell our viewers a bit about it? <laughs> I actually don't like doing these interviews. But four live-work units. <laughs> He looked like he does like to Yeah, I mean, <laughs> All this will come down then, all this is coming out. All this is coming off. All this is coming down. Now, there we are. So, I mean, uh, we can imagine maybe this is a live work unit, and we can imagine four units, but what about yourself? I mean, are you worried this is stretching you beyond your limits? No. One thing, um, turn it off. One thing you've got to remember, remember um, where we've just been, Chatsworth Court. Yeah. Remember what I said about touching the ceiling? Yes, yes. Right, now that was the height of Chatsworth Court. Right. The ceilings for the live work units are actually going to be. Oh, Christ, so they're going to be phenomenal, aren't they? So Not phenomenal, but they're going to be high enough to have Relative. a feeling of space. So if they're going to be where the start of that yeah. arch is, that is yeah. a phenomenally high ceiling, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That's what, 11 feet or something, is it? Yeah, I've got a 10 foot ceiling. Yeah. And then again. But anyone with half a brain will walk in and go, mm, I can live downstairs and, and sleep upstairs, won't they? 
I've got a three bedroom t- yeah. t- uh, townhouse. Yeah. That's what we're going to try and aim them towards. Well, the only thing is, uh, yeah, I suppose if we're rich single people. Maybe you want to go on it. Hey, gay couple, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do we rough? Rough. <laughs> Kev, where do I start? What do you want me to do now? <laughs> Get your shovel out, Dave. Start digging out. I'm falling in all these holes. How you doing, mate? A couple of going? more likely-looking yeah, chaps you couldn't be <laughs> for the building work. Yeah. I'm not actually sure this is recording. Oh, it might be. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Chino, <laughs> when it was uh, a complete state, and there's no difference. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's worth moving back. That's right. No, no. Uh, look, it, what amazes me is seeing it now is the amount of room out the back. Yeah. You know, now you've yeah. taken down all that stuff, there's a lot more room. Yeah. yeah. Half this unit here. Yeah. yeah. It's a courtyard there, is it? No. <laughs> all they've got is one electric cable. It's a bit dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. When do you intend to knock out that? Doorway there. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it's just before. <laughs> I'll tell the schedule, Steve. I'm with uh, Kev Way now, who's one of our builders right on site. Kev, how's the job going? Uh, it's terrible, Dave. We've we'll been on schedule. We've only been there one week. We're three weeks behind. Time penalties. Thousand <laughs> pound a week, Dave. Is it an exciting job, though? You please, you took Losing it on. Losing me here. Thousand <laughs> pound a week. Wait, Nick, <laughs> poor old Nick here. He's. Uh, Nick, do you want to say a few words for our viewers? Uh, up until a week ago, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you heard it. There you heard it. We'll be, viewers, stay members. with me because we'll be back in a few weeks to see how they're getting along. We'll see them again. <laughs> bye bye. It's doing it now. It's <laughs>